ketchup is red, mustard is yellow, mayonnaise is white, I am brown. You see, all these delicious things have one thing in common, and that is they have a very distinct color. You see, these condiments represent the top of the top, all right, the best of the best. But what if I told you there's a new contender on the market? What? Oh my god, I have to know this! This contender is so great, it could kill the rest of the competition. And maybe you as well. Contender's color is so vibrant that it shares similarities to TV's greatest character, and that is Peppa Pig. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing TikTok's very own pink sauce. Now, you might be wondering, what is the flavor of this pink sauce? Well, isn't it quite obvious? That's the flavor. Pink. It's pink flavor. Whatever that is. So to understand the origins of the sauce, we gotta go to the place where all the greatest NPCs in the world actually exist, which is TikTok. So recently on TikTok, there was a lady who went viral who calls herself the pink sauce queen. Basically, her business went viral for selling one thing and one thing only which is this famous pink sauce. So basically this lady would upload videos of herself on her page on TikTok, basically trying her pink sauce with regular food like, you know, chicken, burgers, fries, and she would try it on camera and be like, damn, this is pretty good. Well, TikTok being the app that it is where the most random things go viral, well, basically her page started to get traction and intrigue for this pink sauce started to grow as well. You know, the questions everyone were asking were, what is this pink sauce? Why is it pink? What does it taste like? Why don't my parents love me? Maybe, maybe not the last one. You see, other than videos of herself, the pink sauce queen would also upload videos of other people as well, trying her pink sauce from other pages. And well, all these videos were also very positive. And as an audience, people were kind of skeptical still because, you know, they were all overly positive. So as a result, business started to pick up and everyone got their hands on their very own pink sauce for a nice $20. $20? Oh my god, $20? Why is this so expensive? $20 for a condiment. Oh my god, do you know what I can spend on $20? A lot of things. Like... Cheese? So after her business went viral and everyone got their hands on their very own pink sauce, TikTok then started flooding with many videos of many brave soldiers who were willing to do God's work, which was to try this mystery pink sauce random sauce from this random stranger on the internet. Thank you for risking your life for the rest of us. So everyone started trying the sauces and well, the reactions were quite interesting to say the least. And move over ketchup and mustard, there's a new condiment craze this summer and you might mistake it for Pepto-Bismol. You see, from the reactions, you can tell the situation was not great. For many reasons. You see, in the videos that the pink sauce queen posted, the sauce that she was using was pretty vibrant and the consistency was pretty good. You know, it looked like a regular condiment that you would use, you know, ketchup, mayonnaise. Unfortunately, this didn't really reflect in the products that people received as many people stated that the color of the sauce kind of varied from bottle to bottle. The consistency was kind of like watery and runny, which is not great. So, not a great start. We have our first red flag. Or should I say, pink flag? <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Second red flag was the nutritional information. You see, on the label of the bottle was the nutritional information, you know? Like you would see on regular food products. Now you see, there was something very interesting about this certain food label. So on the label, it says each serving is 14.4 grams. Now if you check on the number of servings, there were 444 servings. Now I am no genius, but if you do the maths, that comes up to over 6 kilograms of sauce. Which is definitely wrong. Also, the label on the bottle had no expiry date, which is kind of a red flag as well. So people in general couldn't believe whether any information was correct. Now we have the next red flag, which I honestly believe should be instead a giant red sign that says, please do not buy this sauce. Please stop. What are you doing? Stop right now. Well, basically some people reported that upon arrival, some of the bottles actually exploded in their packaging. Some sauces were spoiled and some people even got sick from eating said sauce. You see, wrong labels are fine, you know, you can always change them, 
no big issue. But when you're a food business and your food has potential to send people to the shadow realm, that's kind of a problem. Now, if we look at the packaging again, it says that it contains milk. Now, I don't know if everyone knows this, but milk is something that needs to be refrigerated. So this is probably what happened with the pink sauce. I'm guessing the sauce was probably shipped without refrigeration and transported in hot trucks and then they spoiled in transit. Now, you might be wondering, if the sauces are spoiled, why would people still even try it? Well, these are people who are buying a mystery sauce from a random woman on the internet. So I don't think common sense is very common. So what has been all the response to this new information? Many people made videos pretty much roasting the hell out of this product and questioning her whole operation. So soon after, the pink sauce queen came out to answer everyone's question. So on a live stream, when asked about FDA approval, this is what she had to say. They approved? What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. I never said that. Did I? Um, lady, I don't know how to say this, but what do you think the F in FDA stands for? Now, with that being said, I'm all for small businesses, all right? Go get your bag, make your own business, make it your own thing, all right? I'm all for it. But I also do believe that if you're selling a food product, the bare minimum should be is to do some food safety research to make sure the food that you're giving or serving or selling is safe to eat. Honestly, out of all of this, I genuinely believe that Pink Sauce could have been a successful business. You know, the internet is full of gimmicky food stuff and it's all about how you market it, honestly. One prime example would be our famous Salt Bay restaurant. Ah yes sir, please serve my expensive steak with salt that's been caressed by the hair of a hairy Turkish man. I love it. Please charge me thousands of dollars. So what's gonna happen from here? Honestly, I have no idea. People could sue her for the product but I don't think anyone's gonna take the time to actually do that. But then again, it's America, so anything goes. So let this be a reminder to everyone. Please do not buy strange things off of strange people from the internet, unless you want to deal with the consequences. Alright, so that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!